Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, I've had quite a few uh, comments and emails on a specific update that is appearing here and there, and people are wondering what that is. Uh, some of you have noticed that it actually installed more than once. Uh, it installed in the past, and it's installed again. So if you go to your Settings app, go into Windows Updates, and go into your update history. You might notice that one of them that I don't have here because this is a new install, one of them is KB5048239. KB5048239. And if you go down the list, you might see that it's there more than once. Actually, if I go on my gaming laptop, I noticed that it's installed recently, and it installed in um, November or October. So it's it's more than one of the same KB number. So what is that? Well, remember, guys, last year, about this time, everybody started going crazy with that famous update that wouldn't install if you didn't have the requirements for the space on the recovery partition. Well, this is a update that has to do with that. So, of course, everybody went crazy around this time last year with that famous update. Uh, what they did is they removed the update at some point, and they changed the KB number, actually. And the new update, 504-8239, will handle the problem that was with the original update. If it looks at your partitions, if it looks at your hard drive and it sees that there's no recovery partition or it's not the right size, it's not supposed to bother you. It's not supposed to say anything and just ignore. If your recovery partition is intact and correct and has the right size, well, it will install. And what it does is actually this is the update that has to do with the security of BitLocker and certain conditions when you are uh, using the uh, encryption of the drive with BitLocker. Uh, so they had to actually use this update to fix a security flaw. Now, uh, this update will reappear at some point from time to time. Why? Because Microsoft tweaks that update since it is for security. They will, um, of course, modify it, uh, update it. So it's normal that it appears more than once, if you have it more than once. And it probably will appear again sometime during the year. So um, if you check out your updates and see that this is what's happening, uh, well, it's that famous recovery update. And uh, normally it should install correctly for those that have the proper machines for it. And if your machine doesn't have the requirement, it shouldn't bother you. It shouldn't even be there, um, you know, uh, installed or anything because it will recognize that you don't have what's uh, the minimum space or simply don't have a um, recovery environment. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.